Apparently, plaster art has been trending lately, and to be honest, I wanted to give it a try. <laughs> it looks so easy to do, and I really like these kind of plain abstract art pieces because I'm very neutral, as we already know. So, here we go. Take two. Okay, we're back. I actually had to go back to the store and buy the, the one that I've seen other people use, which is the Dry Dex Spackling. It's pink and it turns white as it dries. And then I also picked up a little plastic spatula just because um, the ones that we have have a little bit of rust in them, to be honest. And it did stain my canvas a little bit. Oh. And we're gonna give it a try. So I think I've used this before. It looks so cool. <laughs> okay, let's give it a try. It's actually an RH inspired restoration hardware, which is a really expensive high-end luxury store. I'm gonna do something similar. It's not exactly like the painting that I saw, um, which is why it's called inspired, which means that it just inspires you to do something similar, not necessarily the same or exactly the same, which they do have really beautiful art pieces. In my opinion, they're, I like them because I'm just so plain that I don't like too many de too much detail or too many colors in it. And you're, you know, so vanilla. Which is why I like them, but I would not spend $2,000, $3,000 on something like that. They look pretty doable, I think. Obviously these people have talent, but you can do something similar for way less. So this is kind of a little... The reason why I went to the store and bought a different kind of spackling compound was because I had one that was a little too dry and instead of smearing, it was just falling off. <laughs> Stiffer than I thought, but let's just give it a try. I'm actually really nervous about this. I don't want to use too much because I wanted to do two of these. I guess I kind of am going into like a slight powder, I mean pattern. So I guess like a, a few random strokes and then a few in between. So it doesn't look too empty, which I mean, it's not a big deal, but with the perfectionist I am, I know it's gonna bother me. To be completely honest, I really didn't know what I was doing. I was just making some random strokes of plaster, trying to fill in some empty spots because I felt like they were a little too empty in my opinion and then just going in different directions. Um, I was trying really hard not to make it look um, too perfect. I guess the right word would be effortless because that's what artists make it seem like. And this is what I came up with. Okay, so for the next piece of art now, I'm gonna do something different. At first I wanted to put them kind of like next to each other, but I don't think that I'm gonna like them both together. So what I'm gonna do is just make another one that's a little bit different, but with the same speckling compound. I saw this girl on YouTube actually do something like this and I really liked it. Um, she did, however, have a wider spatula which gave it a different look to it, I guess you can say. Really, really easy. Instead of going everywhere, I'm just gonna do like all in one direction, but really heavy strokes. So let's see how that works. I really think this one was a little bit easier because this was just like random stroke um, with a lot of spackling on the top or the front where I would start and then ending off with less and then just trying to add some texture so it would look more artsy. <laughs> Now 
Now for the trick that I have for you when it comes to canvases, the way that you can upgrade or upscale your art, if you do like to paint on can on canvases, if you just hang your canvas up like that alone, like it won't look very pretty. If you add a frame to it, it will look more legit, more real, and like you actually spent a lot of money on it. And the way that you can do that is by adding a little trim of wood, which makes the frame of the frame. <laughs> I got these little pieces at Home Depot. They're the three quarters by two, three quarters of an inch by two. I believe they were dollars something per piece. This is two feet long, which I have enough for both frames here. I think I'm gonna stain for one of the frames and then the other one is gonna be black frame. So just because I wanted to add a little bit of black to my living room, my living room I think right now is very white. Okay, how good does this look? Oh my god, I really do like it. The spackling obviously didn't dry white compared to the canvas, but that's okay. I actually like this cream looking color and I'm really excited to see how it's gonna look with the black. I already really, really like it. Since the canvas was two feet by 18 inches, I did have to trim down some of the wood pieces to fit. I didn't get fancy with my cuts, it was just a straight cut because normally frames have like a diagonal cut on the corners. I just wanted to make it easier for myself. And I ended up using hot glue to glue the trim to the canvas. And here they are. I really do love the pieces. You guys, to me, they work for me because they're very neutral. I love how the frame is the one that stands out the most versus just the art. And I ended up not staining the other trim or the other frame just because it was an ash brown. And to me, I really liked it. I felt like it was perfect neutral for this piece that is all for today's episode thank you guys so much for watching as always i appreciate you don't forget to subscribe for more videos like these i have a really good one coming up subscribe by the channel